Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm right now uh, standing outside in a place, in a location which is on my right hand side, the Millennium Dome. And as far as my eye can see, I am observing lots of fireworks. So I want you to bear in mind, I have come especially for a program here in Chad Jalal Masjid and today I came and visiting Brother Saeed in his uh, palatial home here on this very high, tall, monumental building. And from here on my uh, right hand side, I observed that there is the Millennium Dome and right here at the bottom I can see the River Thames. Uh, straight ahead of me there is the, the railway, the trains, uh, and also behind me all these tall monumental buildings. As far as uh, I can see on that side is the Excel London. So the time now is almost coming to midnight, 12 o'clock. Yes, indeed, it is entering into another year, the year 2018. But our point to emphasize to you that we do not come out specially to observe these fireworks and this uh, display. It is only coincidentally given that I am visiting Brother Saeed and it happens to now be past uh, 12 o'clock midnight. So look ahead what lies ahead of you. Uh, the time is ticking away. Have we entered into the new year? What does it mean when we say we're entering into the new year? The new year for the Muslim does not begin with this magnificent uh, display of the fireworks. In my mind, in my understanding, it is really this amount of money that has been squandered and wasted on this firework display, uh, while at the same time there are many, many people, children that are dying of starvation, I, right now I'm thinking and pondering and wondering what about those who are the refugees and those who are living in some parts of the world entering into the year 2018 but sadly they do not even know where the next meal is coming from. So this is happening in many parts of the world. The firework display in many of the countries in Emirates in all parts of the world in the Arab world in the Muslim world and you can well imagine how much of money has been spent so let's for the moment understand that this is uh, obviously a display which is really uh, sounding in different parts when I'm looking all around as far as my I can see almost in every area every location there is beautiful fireworks uh, I cannot well imagine how much does it cost to really uh, make such a huge great display of these fireworks and have you entered into the year 2018 yes indeed it is already past midnight so it is quite cold at this location but for now uh, we will allow you to have a view and see this part of london we are in east london and uh, this area is called yes Limit. Limit. Limit, yes indeed. And look at the, these tall uh, monumental buildings right around this part of London. And while I cannot imagine all of the people that have are close to the location where this firework display is happening right now. And there is the train empty of passengers. Most of the people are probably standing at these locations to enjoy this wonderful display of the fireworks. So what do we do for now? We say Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. May Allah Ta'ala forgive us for our mistakes, for our shortcomings. May Allah Ta'ala make us understand, have a greater and deeper understanding that every day that is passing by, even though we leave 2017, and we enter into 2018, it doesn't make a difference for the believer because another day we don't even know we're going to see tomorrow. So it doesn't make a difference, especially given that we need to lay greater emphasis on our Islamic dates. And for the Muslim, our first day of the new year begins in the month of Muharram. Uh, the month of Muharram is the first day of the Islamic, first month of the Islamic calendar. And when we make our resolutions, we make our resolutions on the first day of the Islamic calendar, the month of Muharram. Right now, we are in the month of uh, Rabi Uthani, and very soon we'll enter into the month of Jumad al-Ula, Jumad al-Ukhra, Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan. So time is passing by. 
and we conclude with the beautiful verse of the Holy Quran Wal Asri by the token of time indeed man is at a loss Illa amanu except those who have Iman Wa Amilu Salihat and those who do righteous actions Watawa Sawbil Haqqi and they counsel each another to be on Haqq and on the right Watawa Sawbil Sabri and advise counsel each another to have patience perseverance so subhanallah this is what is happening right now in this part of the world here in london uh, we are witnessing this amazing display of the fireworks and sadly enough in other parts of the world there are people who are living in war-torn countries think about the land of sham see what's happening in syria see how it is for the people when they other parts of the world are having this day they say happy new year celebrations how are the people in that part of the world coping that is what we have to remind ourselves so we pray and we make dua that allah ta'ala give us all the uh, deeper understanding that indeed by the token of time man is at a loss there is nothing to be happy about it is really uh, sad for us given that another year has come to an end and uh, man is at a loss except those who have iman and they do righteous actions and they assist each another to be on haq and assist each another to be in patience and with this we end wa jazakumullah khairan for the al team and brother saeed for this wonderful opportunity to be recording on this beautiful high monumental building from the apartment of Sa'id Subhanallah bihamdihi Subhanakallahumma bihamdika Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka Allahumma natubu ilayk